Hi guys, it's Rain about Thurston. Today I'll be going over question 223 on SO exam P. So pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, so you're attempted, let's just dive right in. So basically, there's two variables here, right? X, which is the year one, and the mean of X is given right here, 100. The standard deviation of X is 25. Y is given by this formula right here. So the mean of Y is just plugging in the 100 in there, 1.04 times 100 plus 5, which is 109. And the standard, devi standard deviation of y is just equal to, because standard deviation measures the width, right? So from the original x, they're basically saying it's multiplied by 1.04, so it's like that, and it's shifted over 5. But we don't really care because we're trying to look at the range. So we can actually just ignore the plus 5 part and just focus on the 1.04. As always, we have to square root 1.04 square times 25 squared which is just equal to 26 and then the final question is asking what is the probability that random variable random sample of 25 claims in year two which is our y variable is between 100 and 110 that's basically what it's asking for right so we have to find it in terms we have to find the mean and standard deviation in terms of 25 claims so mean of 25 claims, they ask for the average, right? So this is going to be 109 plus 109 all the way do down 25 times over 25, which we know the average is of all that number is just going to be 109. The standard deviation is, if you remember the formula, that's great. If you don't, that's okay too. The formula is just standard deviation over square, o, square root of n, where in our case n is 25. But if you don't remember it, that's fine too. We can also always derive it thinking, of it, thinking of it like this. So basically, it's the same idea. It's going to be 26 squared plus 26 squared 25 times over divided by 25 squared. But because we're adding 26 squared 25 times, we can actually factor out the 26 squared. And you get 25 out over 25 squared. So the 125s cancel out. And you get square root of 26 squared over 25, which is exactly 26 over square root of 25, which is 26 over 5, which is 5.2. All right, so we have all the ingredients we need to solve this problem. So 100 minus mean, which is 109 over 5.2, which is our standard deviation. Normalizing y, it becomes a z. 110 minus our mean, which is 109 over our standard deviation of 5.2. When you plug it into the calculator, you get negative 1.7307 and 0.1923. So we're looking for this probability between these two numbers, negative 1.7 and 0.19. This is not drawn to sale <laughs> scale, obviously. We're looking for this area right here. So let me pull up my Z table. So they're telling me on the exam, they're going to give you a positive Z table. So I recommend you get used to that one right now. But the positive 0.19 they give you is this thing right here. This is equal to 0 0.15, 0 0.5732. And when you look up negative 1.73, the, they give you the positive 1.73, which is here, right? And they say this probability right here is 0.9587. But the area, we, what we need to do is we need to take the 0.5732 minus this little bit right here. So what is this little bit right here? Well, that's exactly the leftover parts of our positive 1.73. So that's going to be equal to 0.5737 minus 0 0.0413, which is equal to 0.5324, which is our answer B. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!